Bulls trail by three. Maxson kicks to Jordan. 55 seconds left here in the second. A shot off that time. And he needs to simplify things on offense. He's settling for too many outside shots and it's hurting his team. They get a hand on it and stolen by Jordan. And here's the fast break. Jordan leading the way. Paxson passes to Jordan. Now here's Paxson. He's tightly guarded. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. That pump from Paxson, it baited the defender. Gets him to the line. And he's got his first free throw of the game. And the Celtics making a change here. Parrish has checked in. Both free throws good from Paxson. For this team, John Paxson is a guy you can rely on. Runs the offense well, can shoot it as well, and pretty solid defensively, too. Here is Seasting, guarded by Paxson. Six on the shot clock. Here's Seasting. Green with the rebound. Outside Jordan. Shoots over Ainge. Oh, and he just knocked down the buzzer, Peter. Saw that time on the clock and let that shot fly perfectly. And that is how you end the quarter. Gets it to go, and they are elated at the break. And so it's Michael Jordan making things happen for the Bulls. He's approaching 40 points for him in the game. He's scoring in just about every way possible. And don't go away. We'll be right back. A view of the Charles River, not far from where we are, Boston Garden, and getting ready for the second half. We're here in Boston for game two of the Bulls and Celtics. Second half of play getting going here in Boston. Boston trailing. You look at the firepower of this Boston team. Three All-Stars in Bird, McHale, and Parrish. And this core has been together for their latest title runs. And now, let's go to D.A. Thanks very much. Now, we know about Larry Bird's determination at certain points, but Michael Jordan has some of those same qualities. He missed 64 games this season with a broken left foot. And Chicago management didn't right. want him to Take play right. anymore. But he put that foot down, citing his love of the game clause that's in his contract which allows him to play whenever he wants. And he said, I'm going to play basketball. That's what I am, a basketball player. And he's back on the floor. Guys? David, thank you. It's a great story. Michael loves to play the game, Mike Fratello. And he rarely seems to get tired. Some people have speculated that because he missed a great deal of the season, he doesn't have the normal fatigue at this time of year. So for Chicago right now, Charles Oakley out there with Corzine. Then there's Gervin. Then it's Jordan. And it's Macy in at the point guard position. Bird looking it over. Four on the shot clock. That one goes. Count it. Bird's got the game tied up here for the Celtics. And the Celtics core club. Won in 1984 and returned to the finals again last season. And I think for the Celtics team, anything short of a title, Kevin, is a bust. I mean, they know they're the team to beat, and they carry themselves that way. One of the most talented teams we've probably ever seen in the league. I agree. I'm oh, glad we got a chance to check out that fantastic drive one more time. That's such a big play here in a close game like this one. Great concentration from him. McHale misses. Defense was right up in his face there, and it spoiled his attempt to lay it in. Jordan against Johnson. The shot's good from Jordan. Jordan's got 41. And once Jordan gets rolling, you're done. Because he's relentless in how he continues to attack. And there's the call on Michael Jordan. And that'll be his third foul so far. Johnson dishes to Ainge. 
outside, McHale. Shoots a fader. No good from Bird. Really tough to see a quality look like that go to waste. Just couldn't quite finish the job. Just a tough break, especially because opportunities that good don't often come along. Coach, a tough stretch for this offense. I'd say they need to get back to what they do best. Right now, that's a question mark. A big question mark. Here's Parrish. Here's McHale. Good, and the assist goes to Parrish. Parrish has got three assists tonight. So good at using his height to scan the floor. Parrish capable of finding open teammates this way. Jordan outside. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It goes on Dennis Johnson. Looking at the way Jordan finished the regular season, you had to know that he was on the verge of having a stellar playoff run. Scary to think how good he'll be in the coming years. Mike, his work ethic I know impresses you so much. And so Jordan nails both of them. Almost 30 points per game for Michael Jordan. Mike, in the final five games of the season, an unbelievable streak. And the future for Jordan looks bright as ever. Starting to show he's more than just a high flyer. He started to develop the skills to score at all levels of the floor. Ah, you sound like a coach, but I know you appreciate that game so much. Here's Parrish, and it's Chicago with the rebound. Oakley's got 11 rebounds in the game. Jordan, the pass to Macy. It's stolen by McKay. Here's Bird. And another miss by Boston. The Bulls leading by six. Here's Jordan. Parrish grabs the board. Ainge with the ball. Bird high post. Again, the miss by the Celtics. And so it's Gervin with it. He brings it up for the Chicago Bulls. Just four points. That's all they've given up here in the second half. Oakley is screen on Bird. And a wide open look for Jordan. Off target from three-point range. And they've been moving the ball card really well tonight. Good things come to those who take good shots. Like the way this game has gone, the Celtics cannot slow down Michael Jordan. Well, they've tried some different looks in the first half, but nothing seems to be the answer for Jordan. You're right. When you face Jordan, you put so much focus on MJ that it creates openings for other guys. The best appearance. Johnson outside. Here's McHale. Rebound by the Bulls. Corzine's got his sixth rebound on the night. Jordan down low. Ainge covering. Jordan's shot is off. Celtics trail by eight. Pass to Parrish. The feed now to McHale to end the cold streak. The offensive rebound. Here's Bird. No good. Shot missing. And right now, I think he's ready for this quarter to be over. I don't know if I've ever seen him this cold. Rough quarter indeed. Gervin a screen on Johnson. Here's Jordan. Corzine the pass to Gervin. Down to five on the shot clock. The Bulls need to get a shot off here. Shot's good by Oakley. Oakley's got nine. One thing that separates Gervin, his patience. You can't speed him up. And if you leave somebody open, the Iceman will see it. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. They've literally been giving points away inside. I know Coach has something to say about that. And you have to address situations like this, right? to the middle. Here's Johnson looking to end the run and Bird gets it to go on the assist from Dennis Johnson. Johnson's got three assists tonight. 
And when you look at that stacked 84 draft class, obviously there's Jordan. Some incredible talents in just their second season. Here's Jordan. Jordan had 49 in game one and creeping up on that here. At six foot six with his crazy hops, Jordan could be a problem down low. On the wing, Ainge defended by Macy. And here is Ainge. Shot clock at six. Bird with it. Now guarded by Jordan. Johnson's shot is off. Mike, a lot of impact players coming in that 1984 draft class in the NBA. And the talent is at all positions. Great guards, forwards, and of course, Hakeem as a center. Could go down as one of the best draft classes in a long, long time. You are so right. What a contribution at the line so far. Going 10 for 10. He throw good, Jordan. Both free throws, good for Jordan. Celtics trail by 12. Oh, and they need a basket in the worst way. I think they're forcing things right now, and it's why their offense looks so pedestrian. Johnson outside. Bird against Irvin. Parrish up top. Johnson right side. Over Jordan. And the basket by Johnson. Johnson's got nine. There's zero hesitation to Johnson's game. Always ready to contribute. Jordan with the screen on Ainge. Macy passes to Jordan. Shoots over Johnson. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. First one falls for him. Some changes for Boston. Walton comes in for McHale. And it's Easting in for Ainge. And Chicago also making a switch. Paxson's checked in. And both free throws, good for Jordan. And the dominance of the Celtics, Mike, have shown again this season. It feels like it's their year. They know it's championship or bust for them. They figure they'll be tested on the way and could also have to deal with their old pals, the Lakers. But all season long, they have been the front runner, and that won't change until they're knocked out. They've got the target on their back for sure. Green, he's checked in for Dave Corzine. The basket count. And one will go to the line with a chance to make it a three-point play. Playing to their strengths, Boston doing a nice job feeding the Chief inside and utilizing his size. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Banks checked in for Chicago. A double-double machine. Parrish understands his strengths on offense and also works hard at the defensive end. Here's Jordan and the rejection by Parrish. Here is Z-Sting. He has six. Out to the wing. Parrish kicks to Bird. Walton is screen on Paxson. Inside, and Walton throws it down. You know, as soon as Walton has the ball around the rim, he's thinking about flushing it. Jordan inside. Johnson on him. No good from Jordan. Celtics trail by seven. Here's Seasting. It's hauled in by Oakley. Oakley's, and it's the Bulls with the ball. And Jordan continues to be the dominant scoring force on the floor. Mike Bird can't even keep up with him. That's no knock on Bird. That's just how special Jordan is. He is putting on an absolute show in this game. I bet Bird is impressed too. Outside Jordan over Johnson. The Bulls with another miss. The defense willing to concede the mid-range. As the lesser of evils, it paid off there. Seasting passes to Bird. 
Here is Zesting. Pass to Pierce. Here's Walton. Second chance effort. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. It's going to go on Charles Oakley. You know, he goes about seven feet tall. Bill Walton is a nightmare matchup, not just because of his height, but because of his skill, too. Plus, he has a really high IQ. Redmond's checked in for Boston. And there's Michael Jordan, the assist by Oakland. 53 points for Michael Jordan. All too easy for Jordan. Just unfazed by anything the defense throws at it. He's got an answer. Jordan with the steal. to the inside and Charles Oakley out there with the slam great game for him double double down 11 points and 15 rebounds how about the oak showing what he's got on that throwdown well done here is Zesting. he's got six to the paint here's Harris and contact on the shot so he'll be shooting free throws here it's gonna go on Charles Oakley and an easy call for the officials there. Yeah, don't argue that was so pretty obvious. He made the only free throw attempt he had earlier in the game. Free throw good, Parrish. So he gets them both. Bulls leading by seven. Down low. Back to Paxson. Jordan outside. Over Johnson. No good from Jordan. And the D daring him to prove he can make it from that spot. Unfortunately for him, not able there. Here is Zesting. Pass to Wedman. Shoots over Banks. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Jordan outside. The shot off the left rim and out. I wouldn't say that's exactly his spot now. I mean, and you can see why. Tries to save it. Hands with the ball out of bounds. Jordan touched it last. And we got to take a second look to admire that outstanding block. Boy, he is all over that shot. I mean, had it read the whole way. Got himself in the position and then was able to make the play. And the Celtics with possession here. They trail by seven. Yep, that one goes. Seasting's got eight. That's an excellent move inside. Keeping pace here. Johnson against Jordan. Shoots over Johnson. Green kicks to Banks. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Jackson passes to Jordan. Walton with the steal. Here is Zesting. Eight points for him. The pass to Wedman. Over Green. Wedman can't get it to go. The Bulls leading by five. Banks dishes to Green. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Well, you got to do your work early. You can't allow him to set up there. Yeah, there has to be more effort on the defensive end. Don't allow him to gain position. Seasting passes to Wedman. And here is Parrish. Pass to Walton. Here is Seasting. Guarded by Paxson. Clock at four. Here is Parrish. A shot missing. Great tee that time from Green. Oakley inside, defended by Parrish. Here's Jordan. Tried to bank it in, but he misses. The defense willing to concede the mid-range. As the lesser of evils, it paid off there. And we've reached the end of the third. It's Chicago, leading by seven. We'll take a quick break, then get you back to the action.
Final quarter of play starting in this Game 2 matchup between Chicago and Boston. Chicago leading. And with the injury Jordan sustained this year, he has about as fresh of legs as anyone. He showed that in Game 1. Bird out there with Kevin McHale. Then it's Johnson. Then it's Walt. And it's Ainge in the two guard. That's the Boston Five. Here's Johnson. No good on that one. So the Bulls will take it the other way. And Jordan with the broken foot earlier this season, Clark. Boy, right now he looks 100%, doesn't he? You know exactly right, Kevin. He had some games towards the end of the year to get himself acclimated and going again. But as you said, he looks locked in now with no holds barred on his game. No limits at all. Exactly. He gets that one. Green's got the fourth quarter started here with a bucket for the Bulls. Celtics trail by nine. Pass to Johnson. Screen by Walton. Johnson dishes to Walton. Johnson, the pass to McHale. Good on the shot. Inside, McHale is well positioned to just go to work. Finds his shot and takes it. Now Paxson. Passes it to Banks. Back to Paxson. Here's Holton. Six to shoot. The pass to Washington. And Walton with the block. What a play by Walton. A difference maker on the defensive end. Just over a minute and a half played here in the fourth. Johnson against Paxson. Johnson outside. Pass to Bird. Johnson outside. Pass to McHale. And slam dunk by McHale. Look at McHale getting after it. Suarez opening and puts it down. Now here's Paxson. Hanks passes to Paxson. Here's Holton. Green with a screen on Ainge. Driving to the basket. And the foul called on Kevin McHale. And that'll be his third foul so far. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Lock at six. Shoots from the right block. Harry Bird grabs the miss. Bird's got six rebounds here tonight. And you know, part of the reason why the Celtics feel comfortable pushing the tempo, the development of Danny Ainge, it gives them another option to initiate the fast break. McHale shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. You talk about footwork in the post, I think McHale is without peer. And it takes a lot of practice to refine the footwork that he has. That's dedication to your craft on full, fruitful display. Mike Ainge, a player that makes a difference off the statue, always doing the little thing. He's an X factor for the Celtics. He can spark the team with a few hustle plays, three-pointers, a great fit alongside the rest of the Boston Stars. Terrific fit, and he comes up with the deuce. Jordan's got 55. It's winning time, and that's a winning play. And the foul called on Michael Jordan. That will be foul number five on him. McHale finds Johnson. They double him with Jordan. Johnson with it. He's picked up by Jordan. They get it again. The Bulls leading by five. Inside. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Bulls will retain possession. Shot from the inbound. Washington trying to break free. A nice shot by Gervin. And the Bulls lead by seven. Great touch from the swingman. 
Irvin has an excellent understanding for how to score down there. Well, the Celtics knew they needed to slow down Jordan Mike, but it's been more of the same from him in this game. Jordan continues to abuse whatever defender they throw his way. There might not be an answer for him. Continuing to thrash and make things happen. Let the big man eat down there. McHale excels at scoring on tight coverage, too. Here's Jordan. Gervin passes to Jordan. From 10 feet out. And Boston with the rebound. Ainge with the ball. Now guarded by Jordan. Bird can't hit. Chicago leading by five. Jordan inside. Ainge covering. And that one, good. Jordan's got 57 points. He's ready, willing, and able to carry the load offensively. Trying to find a way out of this rut, Mike. Yeah, looking to regain some momentum offensively. Gervin passes to Jordan. Second chance shot. Washington trying to break free. And it's Green missing. Bird finds Johnson. Back to Bird. Passes it to Johnson. Five on the clock. Walton is screen on Green. Johnson the pass to Walton. Great tee that time from Green. The Bulls leading. Right side, Jordan. Shoots over Bird. One more bucket and Jordan will tie the playoff record. He's got 59. And we know Jordan is a master from the mid-range, whether he's squared up or falling away. You feel like it's going to splash. Here's McHale, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. First free throw is good. Chicago making some changes. Corzine, he's checked in for Washington. Oakley comes in for Green, and it's Macy in for Paxson. The Bulls leading by seven. Outside Jordan. Back to Gervin. Three-pointer on the way. The rebound by Walton. Gervin's gone two for five, shooting 40% from the field here. Here's Bird over Gervin, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Well, that was a nice pump fake move by Bird that time, putting the defender off balance and then drawing the foul. Bird hits them both. And so it's Gervin with it. He brings it up for Chicago. Leading by five. Bird against Jordan. Gervin in the post. Good, and it's Jordan picking up the assist. Jordan's got six assists now in the game. And stolen by Jordan. And Mike, that score puts Michael Jordan even with Elgin Baylor. The great Elgin Baylor. Most points, Mike, ever in a playoff game. And to think, this is just Jordan's second year in the league. <laughs> the sky's the limit for him. McHale inside. Oakley's there. No good from McHale. Here's Jordan. And with 63 points... Michael Jordan is the record holder for most points in a playoff game. What a night. What a special opportunity, Clark, to watch this young player go at it. Absolutely remarkable. Unbelievable, Kevin. Jordan has announced his arrival to the NBA. A bona fide star with a lot of runway still in front of him. A long runway. Here's McHale. There's the pass to Johnson. Nice ball movement by Boston. On the wing, Burke. Guarded by Gervin. Here's Walton. Oakley's mindset is really anchored in doing whatever it takes. Tough, physical, aggressive, old-school basketball on the defensive end. 
Jordan against Johnson. Macy with it. Back to Jordan. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Jordan's got 12 points now in the quarter. Celtics trail by 11. And here is Ainge. McHale on the wing. Defended by Oakland. Ainge kicks to Walton. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Oakley's got his 18th rebound here tonight all over the place. Here's Jordan. And that's collected by Bill Walton. Walton's got 14 rebounds tonight going after. Out to the right wing. Pass to McHale. Nifty move. And it's good on the way in. McHale's got 24. And McHale is capable of shouldering this offense, especially when he's red hot like this. Macy against Ainge. Jordan inside. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. Celtics trail by nine. Now Ainge. Johnson in the corner. Six on the shot clock. The dish to Walt. And no good. And Chicago will go the other way with the ball. They've held a 12-point lead early. Outside, Gervin. Screened by Oakley. Gervin dishes to Oakley. McHale with some nice D. Bird with it. Gervin covering. Bird against Oakley. Here's Ainge. Back to Bird. Over Oakley. Ainge the pass to Bird. Over Oakley. They grab their own miss. McHale. And it's slammed in by McHale. A determined rebounder. McHale just outworks the opposition to come away with the second chance points. Johnson against Jordan. There's a minute 34 left here in the fourth quarter. Celtics trail by nine. Johnson outside. Pass to Ainge. Walton is screen on Mason. Ainge against Oakley. Shot clock at three. Shot on the wing. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. The Bulls leading by nine. Jordan down low. He's guarded by Johnson. 56 seconds left in the game. Shoots from 12. Bird can't get that one to fall. Offensively, he just seems to be out of gas in this half. I'm not sure what he needs to get his shooting on track. Johnson with it. Now guarded by Jordan. To the inside. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And no good as the first free throw missing for him. We'll see if he can nail the second. Boston making some changes. I've been checked in for Burke. And it's Easting in for Danny Ainge. Then for the Bulls. Green comes in for Oakley. And Banks is subbed in for Gervin. And Macy kicks to Jordan. Some nice ball movement here by the Bulls. Macy with it. He feeds it to Jordan. And slam dunk by Jordan. Jordan, so sweet to watch in the air. What a treat. Here's Wedman. And the three off target. 
And amazingly, the Bulls, Mike, have come into Boston and gotten a win. Great performance from them. And with the series tied at 1-1 and the next two games in Chicago, the Bulls now have a real look at pulling off a miracle. Well, Clark, the Celtic fans have to be feeling a little bit nervous after losing this game at home. No doubt about it, especially when they have to deal with Michael Jordan in Chicago the next few games. Jordan at home has been electric. And if he gets hot, the Celtics might not make it back home. Things have gotten very interesting. So for Mike Fratello, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, and our entire 2K crew, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching this 2K sports presentation of the NBA. See you later.